Building a tech startup today is very different from building one 20 years ago. Back then, if you just knew HTML and CSS, you could put together some dodgy website and you'd have millions of dollars of funding. In 2023, however, we are seeing less and less of these website slash social media startups take the stage and more and more of these artificial intelligence, big data business to business startups get millions of dollars in funding. Without further ado, starting off the list, we have Python. If you ever want to work in a hot startup or build your own, Python will be an essential tool to automate very costly operations and perform predictive analytics that decides what the future of your company will be. In addition, there are many data science and machine learning Python libraries with C++ optimizations underneath the hood that makes building models extremely easy. For instance, a quantitative trading firm might use Python for strategy development, or a research firm like OpenAI might use Python to optimize hyperparameters of their GPT model. Next language, C++. C++ at its core is object-oriented C. We bring the power of object-oriented design with the speed and performance of C. The great thing about C++ is that it gives a lot of power to the developer to manipulate memory and control how the computer does things at a very fine grain level in order to boost performance or do whatever it is you need to do in your use case. Which is why, for a lot of hot startups, their core platform, their main product essentially, is all built using C++. And it's the same with trading firms their main money makers are all also built primarily with C++. And finally, we have JavaScript, because it's used for literally everything else. Anything not related to research automation or your core platform, you would just use JavaScript or TypeScript to build whatever it is that you need. Now let's say you are a hot AI startup. You serve your models in production running on your C++ platform, you have your researchers and ML engineers improve your model using Python, and then finally, you would use JavaScript to build everything else. Maybe a RESTful backend and a simple client to allow application users to interact with your platform, for example, or maybe a trading firm might use JavaScript to build a dashboard traders can use to look up proprietary data quickly and make trades as fast as possible. And there we have it the only three languages you need today to build a billion dollar thing in 2023.